Hey, 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 it is August. We are in mid-August, so this video would be for the 15th through the 21st, and I'm really excited. Um, I've been doing the dailies now um, for half of this month, and now we're going to do like the overview for the week coming up, and it just feels like things are getting lighter. Things are moving forward in a way that's really starting to show what our changes are going to be, show where we're headed, and for many of us, it's been uncomfortable. It's uh, the past few weeks have been very uncomfortable um, with the Lionsgate energy and the new moon in Leo. And as a Leo, uh, yeah, it's been a lot. So um, I'm a Sun Leo and a Moon Cancer. So it's it's been it's been a ride. It's been a bumpy ride. So I just don't want you to feel like you're alone at all. Um, there's just been a lot of energies out there, and I know I'm working with several people that have really been going through it, you know, losing relationships, losing jobs, losing situations, you know, homes, um, home situations, family members. So things are, the tide is turning, the tide is turning. And so, you know, be gentle with yourself. Um, and as I say that, I pull the cocoon card. So yeah. <laughs> oh, synchronicity, I love it. So, I love it, I love it, I love it. Here we go. Because this is what's been going on. We are expanding our horizons. Nobody's staying the same. Nothing is staying the same. And this week you are gonna start seeing where your horizons are expanding to. What is gonna be the new way? What is gonna be the new job? What is the thing that's gonna bring us the prosperity and abundance that we've been wanting? Because we've been feeling like so many things have been taken away. So many things are falling away. So many things are being lost. So many people are moving out of our experience. It's like, whew, can I just take a minute? All right, so this is, I love that this is our first card out saying, yeah, you got this. You are moving into. Now, what I love about this card is this is a slow moving expansion. So the, um, the ways in which things were bumped out of your life or unexpected um, situations or relationships kind of fell apart, this is going to feel comfortable because what is coming to you, the prosperity and abundance you're coming to, it's going to be one step at a time. It's going to be um, growth on a very comfortable level. So just um, take a deep breath and know that you are moving in the right direction. Whatever that direction is, even if it's unknown, it is the right direction. And if you need to step back and be gentle with yourself in the process, then absolutely do that. Because when you step back, when you get into that cocoon, whether you're going to be transformed when you come out of it or you're just going to be more empowered when you come out of it, it is going to be a positive shift, whatever that shift looks like for you. So step back and take what you need to take. Step back and let go of what you need to let go of. Step back and take the time to really assimilate all the changes, accept all the changes, grieve the losses. Take the time. And for many of us, it can be very uncomfortable to do that because we're the people pleaser or we're the one that everyone goes to when they need help. And now you need to, to step back and really take care of yourself in a way that you can feel like it's okay. I got this, I'm gonna be okay because you're going through it. There's no bones about it. It is the winds of change. They are here. So for many of you, it's uncomfortable. Change is always uncomfortable. Um, you know, change is the only thing we can really count on and it always feels uncomfortable. But if you're trusting and you're taking the time you need to take, if you're cocooning so that you can um, take these changes as they come, and not get overwhelmed because you're not taking the time you need to take, then it is gonna feel very uncomfortable. But if you're allowing yourself the time, to know that you're going in the right direction, to accept what has changed, giving yourself to 
Again, the transformation may be a transformation, the cocoon may be a transformation, or it might be just you needing to get into that space of empowering yourself. But things are changing. Nothing is going to stay the same. You are coming into this beautiful growth period, but growth can be uncomfortable because we have to prune. When we're growing, we have to prune back what, what is dead or what is hanging on. And sometimes that is um, scary because that's what's comfortable. But it, it can't stay. It can't stay. Because here it is. We are evolving and growing this week. Something is being brought to you that is going to help you evolve and grow in a way that you haven't done recently maybe even for a few years, because this evolution and growth is not little, it's big. It's big. That's expanding horizons. Horizons are big, huge, overarching scenes. This is not little growth. This is not little expansion. This is huge. So this week, you're being brought to that which is for you, because it is for you. And they want you to know they've got your back. You're not in this alone. You're not in this alone. All right. I can do this. I can, oh, there it is. I can do this. All right, let's take a look at this. I wanna really, the beyond, the, oh, look at that. And it came right up. So it, they definitely want me to read this because it, they made it super simple. This card asks you to look beyond the physical world and become more aware of what you cannot see. The intangible is just as powerful as the tangible. Open your heart and mind to step beyond the veil and enter the realms of intuition, enlightenment, and illumination. It is here that you will be able to gain deeper insight, power, and healing in your life. Finding time to be still and to go within is essential. There's, this is where you will hear the whispers of the universe and your soul. You will be guided to take inspired action as you begin to trust your inner voice. Your life will start to reflect your newfound insights and energy vibration. Manifesting will become easier as you work behind, behind the scenes of the physical world. You will learn to weave the energetic frequencies of what your heart desires into your present vibration. Allow the feeling of what you want to create to grow within you as if it is happening now. All possibilities are there for us to align to and draw in when our awareness is expanded. By holding the intention of bringing flow, grace, and ease, you can influence relationships and situations more than your human self knows. This is done from a quiet space within, and you will need to disconnect from the world briefly and use meditation as the tool to help you. Get into that cocoon. Create and hold the vision of the outcome you desire and the highest good for all concerned. You are also called to embrace the energy of the divine feminine. Regardless of your gender, we all have masculine and feminine aspects, and part of being balanced is to balance these within ourselves and therefore our lives and relationships. Fostering your intuition, empathy, and compassion are good ways of working with the divine feminine. Also practice living in an open-hearted life, forgiving, nurturing self and others. And honoring the earth, feel your way into situations and taking action rather than using your logic at this time. Emotions are the messenger of your intuition and are showing you the way. Follow your heart and walk between the worlds. Yeah. Yeah. So this week, this week, you're going to be being brought to things that are going to start opening you up to the growth. So whether it's the inspiration, whether it's the physical phone call, be open. Be open to spirit bringing you what it is that is for you. All right, let's pull some Ask Angel cards. Because I can hear the how and the when. And that's, you know, the how and the when really is about surrendering. Surrendering those two things to spirit. To um, get into the faith that they will bring you the how and the when. 
and you just have to let it go and just do what you can do in the moment each and every moment and if there's nothing you can do that's when you go into the cocoon you meditate you read you walk you exercise you have some fun you find some joy Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, there's no need to worry. Everything's coming at the right time, in the right way. All you need to do is surrender to the moment, surrender to the process. You got this. It's all good. It's all good. All right, let's get some advice to go with this. Let's get some advice. The angel guide. So I'm using the Light and Soul Oracle by Kate Spencer. I'm using the a Angel Answer by Radley Valentine. And now we're gonna pull some The Angel Guide by Kyle Gray. For those of you who uh, like to know what decks are being used. All right. Ah, too, too crazy. I'm actually recording this on um, Friday the 13th, and I actually picked, or not picked, uh, this card came out in my daily message. So if you've not looked at the daily message, I would absolutely invite you to do that um, for uh, Friday the 13th. All right. So honesty and communication. Here is your advice for this week. You are being given an opportunity to speak your truth. You have reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all of those around you. If you're holding anything in or feel you need to share something in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act on this now. When you share your feelings and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you are in a challenging position and find it difficult communicating what is in your heart, call in angels and ask them to support you. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are. So when you're not speaking honestly or you're not speaking up and asking for what it is you need. My camera won't focus. There it is. It's because you've got some blockage in your throat chakra. So I would absolutely invite you to do a th throat chakra clearing meditation and to um, start to speak your truth from your heart space, not your head. Remember the ego is the fear, heart is love. But if you're speaking honestly, authentically, and from your heart, you will be heard. If there's fear or ego behind what you're trying to speak, that is, that is what they feel. They don't hear the words, they feel the fear, and then it can't be received as well. So practice it. Practice it in the mirror if you have to before you actually use it on the person you need to use it on. But this week, it's going to be important. It's going to be important to be able to speak your truth and to honestly communicate what it is you need. And for many people, that is really, really hard until you get into practice, all right? Especially if you've had your, your voice shut down um, because of some kind of um, abuse, neglect, you know, whatever it was, whatever it was. So that's what I've got for you for this week, and I think it's going to be a, a, a big week as far as, you know, you being brought to things and, and, and being, um, knowing that what you're being brought to is for you. There's no need to worry, but it, it will feel uncomfortable because, again, you can't be brought to what you've already been through. You won't get a different answer. You'll just go through the same cycle again. So, yeah, whatever you're brought to is going to grow you and and make you feel uncomfortable because that is what is for you. But just know that when it's for you, there is no need to worry. You just have to surrender the how and the why and keep taking the steps forward little by little and you will get there. All right, so thank you for being here with me. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.